hello guys so this video has been highly requested on my instagram um you guys want me to do some cooking videos i am not a chef at all but i'm going to be cooking dinner so i figured that i would film it for you guys we're going to be making chicken enchiladas it's one of my favorite meals so let's get everything together i have a little guest with me say hello Say hello. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so handsome. But yeah, so this is a super simple recipe and it shouldn't take more than, I would think 30 minutes, maybe 45 at most. But I have to cut some chicken, so I'm going to find a place to set him down so we can start cutting the chicken. And yeah. Okay guys, so what you'll need for the recipe is an entire block of cream cheese. You need a can of dice green chilies mild You can get the medium one if you want, but that's up to you And so my husband's not gonna have it rolled in the tortilla He's gonna do the chicken in a salad bowl So I'm only going to need one can of the green chili enchilada sauce um, But if he was gonna have it rolled in the enchiladas then he would we would use two of them and then obviously tortillas and then some chicken breast, which I had defrosting in the sink. So I have to go get that and then we're gonna cut it up. So I'm gonna be making, I think a bigger batch. Normally I do three to four chicken breasts. I think I have five or six in here. I'm not 100% sure, but we're gonna cut them up into strips and then put them in the pan. And you can put it on whatever you want. Just make sure it gets cooked and it's fully cooked. So this is how you want to cut them, pretty thin or however you want. If you want thicker chunks, that's fine. But this is how I cut it. And then I'm just going to throw it in here. And I'm not going to turn the heat on until everything is cut up. Otherwise, everything will obviously cook at different times. So I'm going to finish cutting them. Okay, so now that I am done cutting up all the chicken, I put it all in the pan right here and I turned on my stove and I'm going to just let it cook until everything has cooked through evenly and then we'll go ahead and add everything into it. This is the longest part, but I'm not sure. And also I forgot an ingredient. Um, you need Mexican cheese. So don't forget Mexican cheese. You need that as well because we're going to be adding it a little bit inside of this and then on top of the enchiladas before they go into the oven. Okay guys, so now that your chicken is basically cooked, this is what it's supposed to look like. It looks pretty gross, not gonna lie. I don't like the, ow, frick. I just stubbed my toe. I don't like the way that it looks. It kind of freaks me out, but it's cooked. We're going to add the entire can of the diced green chilies in there. Oh, I forgot the Mexican cheese. I gotta grab it. The entire block of cream cheese, I know a lot but i didn't say this was a healthy recipe i just said it was a good recipe and then i gotta grab the mexican cheese and, and then once all that is mixed together i'm gonna add just a handful of mexican cheese not a whole bunch i just started adding it myself just because i like having a little bit of cheese in there too so now we have to wait and let the cream cheese melt and mix all together and make it look so good it's my favorite i love having leftovers i love eating it the next day for lunch or dinner one night or whatever so i'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then i'll be back with you guys and show you what it looks like and then start assembling it so now i'm gonna take my handful now that all of it is about melted in and i literally just take a little bit in my hand sprinkle it in and then we just mix it around and then we'll start assembling it so here's what it looks like when everything's in. It looks like a creamy, yummy, beautiful mess. And now I have my pan here. I preheated my oven to 350. And then I'm going to put as many as I can in here and then leaving some out for my husband's salad bowl thing. So please ignore my kitchen table. I know it is crazy looking over there, but I have a lot of my Christmas stuff I still need to put away. And some other stuff I have to put away and I just haven't yet because I'm lazy, but I'm going to clean it up eventually. But now we're going to assemble. So I have my tortillas 
and you kind of fill it as much as you personally want in yours. I do a good amount about like that. You could put a little less than that if you want. Let me see if it's going to focus a little less than that if you want, but that's what I do. And then I roll it up and push it to the pan. Okay, so I made myself about seven of them and I left the rest to go in my husband's salad bowl. And I'm going to pour this on top of it. Babe, do you want any of the sauce for your salad? No. No? So I'm just going to pour the entire thing on my enchiladas. And I like to make sure that I get it all covered just because I don't like when it doesn't have any on it. So I'll do that and then I'll mess around with the sauce just to make sure I get it on every single one because there's only like a little bit here and there that needs some and obviously right here. And then I'm going to add the cheese on top. I'll probably put it in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. I like to leave it in there to melt the cheese obviously and then leave it in there just a little bit longer to make it perfectly hot. But I'm going to go ahead and finish those last couple of things and then I'll pop it in the oven and then show you guys when it's done. Okay guys, this is it out of the oven and all of the cheese is melted and it looks beautiful and I cannot wait to eat this. So I'm going to go ahead and go so we can enjoy our dinner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know a lot of you asked for videos like this and a lot of you every time I make this and post it on my Insta story, Everybody always asks me for the recipe, so I decided to just do a entire video. That way it's a lot easier than just doing it on Instagram stories. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. And comment down below what you guys want me to make next. I have to figure that out. Um, I'm not sure what, what I would do next. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!